In this video, I'm going to go through my top three picks of free 3D modeling programs for 2019. Say that three times fast. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. So 3D design software is a ever changing landscape. I did a video a few years ago on my top picks and well, it's completely outdated. So let's do a new one. A lot of current subscribers to the channel will know what I use on an almost daily basis. But if you're just starting or perhaps you've learned some really expensive software in uni or college, and you've just gotten out and realized, hey, I can't afford that. Well, this video is for you. And let's kick it off with number one, Tinkercad. Let me tell you a quick little story. Quite a few years ago, I was using Tinkercad when it first came out to teach a group of year seven kids. These are kids who are like year, like 11, 12 years old. And basically Tinkercad is designed for kids. It's one of the most accessible 3D modeling programs I've ever come across. It runs completely on the cloud so you can use any computer you like to access it. And it's very, very easy to use. Basically you start with primitives and you drag them and drop them into your scene to add or subtract to create more complicated shapes. But over the years, Tinkercad has really evolved to be more than just a very basic, basic modeling program. And I've seen people do absolutely incredible things using it. It's also designed with 3D printing in mind and you can easily export a very good error-free STL file out of Tinkercad to download onto your local machine and 3D print at home, or you can even send to a service as well, which is pretty cool. But there is some downsides to being a fully cloud 3D modeling suite. And that is if you don't have any internet, well, the lights are out, Tinkercad will no longer work for you. And that means you're also going to ping their server all the time. So you need a pretty good connection. I've been in classes with 20 kids or so trying to use Tinkercad and the internet just goes and crashes because it just can't handle it. Anyway, don't assume that Tinkercad is just for kids. If you have no 3D modeling experience, then I recommend checking it out and starting here because a lot of other 3D modeling software is a lot harder to get into. It's got a much steeper learning curve. Tinkercad, you can pick it up in a couple of hours and design your first 3D printable object. Number two, Fusion 360. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I use Fusion for almost all of my 3D modeling nowadays, but that wasn't always the case. You see, I actually learned SolidWorks when I was in university and when I got my first job being an in-house 3D modeler, I also used it there. But you see, SolidWorks isn't very accessible to an individual. It's very expensive, especially in, in Australia. So I had to learn something else and I was very hesitant early on to learn Fusion because initially it was pretty, difficult to use, a little bit buggy, but Fusion 360 has become incredibly powerful and you can actually get it for free if you're using it for hobby use or for startup use. And even if you buy it and pay for the subscription, it's still incredibly affordable compared to some other packages. And it's very, very powerful. You can do parametric modeling, you can do push and pull freeform stuff, and it can work with meshes. You can bring in stuff and work from like 3D scans. You can even do cam. So Fusion is definitely one you need to check out if you want to design anything accurately. And it's fantastic. I use it for mechanisms like this thing, which is my two way to one way mechanism that was completely designed in Fusion 360. And I have a huge range of tutorials already in my CAD for newbies series, which you can find here in Fusion 360 if you want to get started because it definitely is a little bit difficult to learn. And as I said, if you're just getting started and 3D modeling is brand new to you, it might be a bit hard to understand. So you might want to start with Tinkercad. But I really can't think of anything currently that offers what Fusion 360 does offer at the price point or even free, which is pretty crazy. And coming in at number three is something I never really thought I would be dabbling in, but here it is, Blender. But here's the thing, it's Blender 2.8. Blender has been completely overhauled for 2.8. And I used to say as a bit of an excuse that Blender had a very steep learning curve and it was very different to modeling software I was used to, that excuse doesn't really fly anymore. If you are interested in organic modeling, that is 3D sculpting and creating characters and figurines and detailed sculpts, I can highly recommend Blender 2.8. It has a whole re wholly redesigned sculpting environment and it's something that is just 
for an open source program that's and it's free it's it's unmatched basically so go check out blender if you're interested in designing any sort of characters or anything organic it's not great for precise measured designs like cases for boxes and things you can do it but really fusion's much better for that but in terms of organic modeling it's incredible and actually the new sculpting environment reminds me a lot of zbrush which is a very powerful 3d sculpting tool but it's not free so go check out blender if that's your sort of thing but do keep in mind it's very different to fusion and tinkercad in the fact that you're not guaranteed a 3D printable model out of it if you export as an STL. You can easily make non-manifold surfaces and zero thickness and all sorts of things that will struggle to print. So you do need to keep that in mind if you do want to 3D print out of, out of Blender. But I will link below a tutorial I found very useful. It's in the previous version, but um, he also did a update on the latest 2.8. And I am actively now learning Blender. I am not skilled at organic modeling at all, 3D sculpting, no idea, but I'm giving it a shot and I think you should too. So that's gonna conclude this video of my picks for top three 3D modeling software in 2019. These are my personal opinion, best bits of free software available right now, but there is so many more programs out there. So if there's any software that you think is amazing and you're frustrated that I missed it out, please do comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear about it and I'm sure lots of other people would as well. And here on Makers Muse is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. And if you found this video useful here on Makers Muse, maybe consider subscribing because I would love to have you on board. But till next time, I look forward to you again very shortly. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.